Hey guys, Sam from Mountfors Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So you must have eagerly anticipated this video for the whole of the last month. But if you haven't been here a while, let me go back to the beginning and explain. So sometime last year, can't remember when, I think it was about August time, myself and my gorgeous Amanda Panda, also known here on the YouTube streets as Obsessive Crochet Lady, discovered that a most glorious book was going to be released. We both really, really wanted the book. And then little seedlings started forming about us doing a collaboration using this book. So we each got a copy of the book. And this year we have decided to do hashtag year of the impkins. And that is where Amanda and I have a live and get you guys to vote for what body parts that you want us to create on our impkins. We go away for a couple of months, then we reveal that impkin and we do it again. And it's going to be all year long. Each impkin we are giving ourselves two months because I am an extremely busy lady and there was no way I wanted to put the pressure on me or Panda to get an impkin done every month. So instead of doing 12 impkins for the year, we're doing six. And that is A-OK -okay because then we can work on these beautiful things without too much pressure on our shoulders. But hang on a minute. Some of you might be thinking, whoa, 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 Mantha, what's an impkin? Let me show you guys. So this is the book that I was talking about. This is Crochet Impkins by Megan Lapp. She is also known as Crafty Intentions. That is her designer name. And that tagline across the top says, over a million possible combinations. Yes, really. And the beautiful thing about this book is you literally build your own impkin. You build your own little creation. But myself and Panda wanted to include you guys in that process. So you guys vote. So let me just backtrack a little bit again. Panda and I went through the book and discovered all the different segments and the different bits and pieces. And we came up with the six different impkin things for you to uh, so for each impkin we picked sections for you to vote on so we picked items and it was the one that had the most votes that we would end up making for that month's impkin now we are currently on impkin number two we have already done one set of impkins now i will leave the playlist for all the impkin related videos down in my description box and I save all of Amanda's videos with mine, so they are all in one handy place that you can access at just the click of a button. So if you want us to explain it a bit better than I am today, click that playlist link and watch it from the beginning. So yes, we have already made one adorable impkin creation, and now we are on impkin number two. And you guys have come back today to see what progress I have made on my second impkin that you guys voted on how it should be created. Now, I will go through the body parts that you guys picked and then I will go through what I have managed to get done. And let me just tell you guys, I have had such a busy month of March. Both Panda and I had birthdays in March. We've got lots of dear close friends and family members that have got birthdays in March. Things have been a little bit hectic, so let me just give you a little bit of a spoiler. Mountfer is well behind. I've got something to show, but I'm nowhere near where I wanted to be for this video, but that's okay. I've still got a month to go. Hopefully April will be a bit quieter and I'll be able to get a bit more done. Fingers crossed. So this book, what did you guys vote on? in the second voting live. Well, you guys voted for standing body number two. So here we go. 
you guys voted for this style of body so this is the body of the impkin that we will be making okay so that's the body and then the arms you guys voted for arm style two which are these so we're going to have that body with that style of arms then you guys voted for spiky ears let me see what page they are on bear with me guys bear with me love this book there really is so so many options for these impkins now i can't even find what i'm looking for here we go ears spiky ears are on page 59 the world really is your oyster with this book guys okay so this isn't exactly our impkin because this impkin is sitting down and i've just shown you that we're doing a standing up one but these are the ears that we are going to be making so we are going to be using his ears they're the spiky ears reminds me a little bit of an axolotl okay and then horns you guys voted for the medium wavy horns page 131 here we go um they're not the right horns let me find a different page medium wavy horns here we go so it's a smaller picture but you'll still be able to see so these horns here we're going to be using those horns making those horns and then a ponytail um ponytail ponytail one four six that's just the instruction so i'll find a different picture here we go that is the ponytail there lots of curly cues not my favorite but it is your guys choice it was your guys's vote so yes we are going to be doing that ponytail so we are going to have very interesting looking impkins this time round, and that is half of the fun guys I am really looking forward to seeing how this is going to be created. So, how it's going to turn out, I mean. So, what have I actually got done? Like I said, not an awful lot. We, of course, will be revealing this impkin as well. And I'll give you dates and things for that in just a little while. So, last time impkin number one i kind of had a little twist with mine i made a second one exactly the same as mine i made twins and i did a who wants to win the twin and the lovely laura lee over in new york she was the lucky winner and she has received her impkin twin so my twin lives with me here in the UK and her twin lives with her in New York. He got there safely and in one piece and he is now being very well looked after and loved on by Laurelie. I said that I cannot guarantee that I can do two impkins every time, but I am going to let you know this time that I am trying to do two impkins so that I can give away another twin to one of you lovelies. So I have managed to get done four spiky ears. There's two. And here's the other two. So I've done four spiky ears. Let me just prove there's two in that hand and two in that hand. There we go. Four spiky ears. Ignore the tails. They'll be sewn on and weaved in and all the things when I get there. And I have managed to do four of the horns. And that is literally it, guys. That is all I have managed to get done for my impkins so far. There's my horns 
colour is not being relayed accurate because my camera is rubbish. But yes, four ears and four horns, that's it. I've still got four arms, two tails and two bodies to make. Well, and obviously the head, but the head is just continuous from the body. So yes, I still have a little ways to go with this one. Now, what hook am I using? I am using my 3.5 millimetre dot. And I use this one for the other two impkins as well. And then I am again making my impkins out of my cotton stash. And these are the two colours that I've featured so far. We've got a pale pink and an aquary green or sea foamy green. So that's what the ears are made out of and that's what the horns are made out of. Now, of course, I do still... I do still. Of course, I do have other yarns picked out for the other parts of the impkins that I am still to make. But I am not going to reveal those colours until the reveal of the finished impkins. I've got to keep something back, guys. I've got to give you some kind of surprise in all of this. Last time it was that I had made a second one. This time I'm not revealing all my colours to you straight away. So... We will be back. Let me get my planner. We will be back on the 30th of April, Tuesday, the 30th of April, with our reveal video. And then the Saturday of that week, just bear with me a second, the Saturday of that week, which is Saturday the 4th of May, May the 4th, we will be doing a live reveal of that same impkin um, in case people haven't seen our videos and we will be doing the third impkin vote live here on my channel so yes come back on the 30th to see the reveal on video if you can't catch that video come back on may the 4th and we will reveal them again and we will be voting for impkin number three. So those are the important dates coming up for these impkins, guys. I love the fact that I'm being a little bit naughty and keeping a little bit of a surprise for you again this time, seeing as I have divulged there will be a twin. I have a month to get these impkins completed. I'm pretty confident that I can. I've just really got to focus on them because I don't want to run out of time. I got a late start on them. Now I need to get a finish on them and get a wriggle on. So yes, there will be two. There will be a chance for you guys to win one. And I normally do the giveaway on the live where we reveal the finished impkin and then vote for the next. So if you want to win the twin, you do. Or do I? No, I don't do it that way. I reveal the winner on the live but people enter on the video that's right so when we do the reveal video on the 30th you can enter to win the twin and then on the saturday live i will announce the winner so there's only a few days for you to get in but yes i love the fact that i've got one of these impkins and then one of you lovelies out in the world are gonna have one of these impkins and they look exactly the same it's amazing so yes, please come back on the 30th to see how this gorgeous creature came out. Um, it is a lot of fun. I am so happy to be doing this collaboration with my Amanda Panda. If you're not familiar with Amanda, go and check her out. Go and get familiar. She is a lovely, beautiful person and she has mad crochet skills. I mean, there's not a lot of people that I know who deliberately like using thread to make things i mean the woman's nuts but i love her to absolute bits and pieces and she knows how much i love her and it is a real honor to be doing this collaboration with her it is tons of fun and i love the fact that you guys have their have your input in this as well that it's not just me and panda it is everybody that joins in and plays along now if you have the book feel free to join in with us no pressure however um, if you don't have the book, there's no pressure to buy it. Just come to these votes and help us pick what we are going to be creating next. If you can hear a bit of uh, kerfuffle in the background, Mike has just got back from grocery shopping. 
So I may as well get moving and see you some other time. Thank you for your time today. And hopefully at the end of the month, there will be two completed Impkins for you to have a look at. Anyway, guys, love you loads. Thanks for being here. And until I see you again, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Love ya.